G'day Legends, I hope you're all fantastic. By request, we are checking out the Universal Audio Astra modulation machine. A big shout out to CMI Music here in Australia for letting me borrow this pedal. I'm pretty excited because I love modulation effects. I love Korai and all their related friends. There's a pretty cool recreation of the Boss CE1 in here. You've got an iconic flanger doubler, you've got an amp style trem, and you've got two bonus effects if you register this pedal on the UA Control app, a Phase 90 style phaser, and then a harmonic trem. So there is only one place to start with this. We're gonna start on the CE1. I will explain the controls as we go, but basically on this one, the rate and depth don't do anything on here. The shade control is like an input gain and the mode goes from wet dry or true stereo intensity is gonna control the overall effect. So let's do it. <laughs> I think we can give that one a solid 9.5 huffs out of 10. Shout out to the one and only Dan Huff, the king of schmo. The mode on here, as I said, goes from wet dry to true stereo operation on there. You've also got this little switch here in this mode. It goes from chorus to vibrato mode. So I think we got to do this with the vibrato mode. Let's check it out. <laughs> Next up, the flanger doubler. A lot of the other controls actually come into play here. Shade is now the wet dry mix. Intensity is the feedback. The mode flips the polarity of the feedback. You've got speed and rate on there. And then the shape control on there. I need to cheat over here and look. It's the manual control on a flanger. So you've got everything you would expect on some kind of flanger pedal or rack flanger represented. I'll just let you hear the clean sound again and then We'll kick it in and tweak. <laughs> Thank you. 
Flanger has that late 70s just kind of warm swoosh about it. We're going to place the doubler section of it that I'm on now. So in the switch down position, this is the doubler mode. And basically, you, know, you keep the speed really, really low and play around with the depth. And you're going to get this big, wide, greasy guitar tone. So I'm going to put this post gain now. Let's see what it does. And I am off. <laughs> days right there that sounds massive which is exactly what i wanted out of that particular mode on there the flanger can kind of do the pat travis snort and whiskey thing that doubler sounds massive post gain i was hoping it would sound massive post gain and i was not disappointed i'm going to skip over to the phase 90 on there i'll just give it to you in front of some dirt <laughs> Thank you. 
I love the ability to have that stereo mode on there where the two sides are basically out of phase. Let's start on the standard mode with the phaser for just kind of like a 70s funk thing. And then we'll go to stereo. I'm on the neck and middle pickup. <laughs> that they took that classic Phase 90 sound and kind of went beyond it. That is one of the great things about digital gear is if you can get the recreation right, it's only one tiny little extra step to really take it somewhere that you couldn't with the real pedal. So I really like that. Let's hear the trem sounds in here. Not a huge trem person, that's totally fine. I'm back on the Strat with a clean sound. Uh, basically, Shade is gonna be input drive, trem 65, you know, probably guess that this is based on like a fender tremolo in here the intensity is going to change the lfo shape over here so yeah let's just get into it <laughs> Finally, you've got the Dharma Trem, as made famous by the sitcom Dharma and Greg. <laughs> Thank you. 
a harmonic trem, this intensity control controls like the cutoff frequency in there. So there's definitely a sweet spot somewhere around here, like the maximum amount of say swing in there. You can go from the classic mode to like a vibey mode on there, which I'm guessing it's more like that classic univibe style sound. Harmonic trem and univibes do sound pretty similar. Uh, on here, you've got dynamics. So you've got the threshold and you've got the amount. So basically with a real harmonic trem, when you dig in, it changes the rate. So I'll let you hear that with the amount all the way down and then all the way up. Universal Audio have done such a good job with this pedal. I really can't praise it enough. Even though, like the Golden, I will say, you know, there's no MIDI on here and I still want to see some updates to the app that let you tweak from the app. I think out of the three effects pedals that they've done, the Golden, the Starlight, and the Astra, that you can just take this one out of the box. You don't really need the app on there. It almost just explains itself as you use it. They nailed the interface, kind of gets around all that option paralysis stuff that you sometimes run into with digital gear. And most importantly, it sounds amazing. None of these effects kind of sound like cartoony versions. The CE1 sounds like a CE1. The Phase 90 sounds like a gooey, rich Phase 90. The trems on there are fantastic. Some of my favorite tremolo sounds that I've ever heard. And you can get that flanger to do the Andy Summers thing, the Pat Travis thing, and the just mega late 80s, early 90s wide doubled thing on dirty guitars. I think they really, really nailed it. Even down to the lettering. I love that Sega style lettering on the word Astra. If you look down at this on your pedal board, I think you know you're in for a good time. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks to CMI for letting me borrow this particular pedal. Thanks to Universal Audio for making such a wonderful schmo box. And I think overall, you know, when we factor in that there's no MIDI on this, and when you factor in a few of the other criticisms that I've had of this pedal range in the Golden and Ruby videos, a solid nine huffs out of 10. It just sounds amazing. And I think you could just stick this on your pedal board and it would replace a bunch of standalone pedals, whether they are analog or digital pedals. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. You can check the video description for some links which will help support this channel. And I'll see you all next time. Take it easy.